welcome back to my channel. So today I have a, a little bit of a different video to share with you. So today we are going to be doing a wish list follow-up. Um, I am planning to do some like haul follow-ups where I go back and do reviews on hauls that I've done, but I haven't seen anyone do this and I thought it might be kind of fun to go back and revisit one of my old wish lists and talk about what items I did end up purchasing and what items I decided I don't really want to purchase anymore. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. Um, the wish list that that I am going back to. The wish list we are going to be looking back at today is from my fall 2016 VIB sale wish list. So I posted this, I want to say October. I have it pulled up here so that I can look at items that were on here. But yeah, it was October of 2016 that I talked about these items and these were the things at the time I was interested in purchasing during the VIB sale. So I'm going to go through all of these items. We're going to talk about what did I end up buying, what am I not really interested in anymore, and what is still sitting on my wish list. So that's what we're going to do today. I hope you guys enjoy watching. Also, one other thing, at the end of this video, I am going to be doing a little bit of um, a casual chat with you guys about some stuff that I have going on. I wanted to save that for the end of the video in case you're not interested in hearing about that because I know a lot of you don't really um, come here for hearing about my personal life, but if you guys wanted to hear about some stuff I have going on, um, I'm going to be sharing that at the end of the video, but I really wanted to get into this wish list first. Okay, so there was a lot on my wish list, you guys. So at this, during this uh, wish list, I, I did it the way I film most of my Sephora VIB sale wish list, where I took you guys onto my computer and showed you my Sephora loves list. So this was basically everything that was sitting in my loves list at the time. Um, a lot of this I have purchased, and some of it I, I haven't. Some of it I forgot all about, so obviously I don't care about those items. Um, but the first thing that was on my wish list was this NARS Lip Glide set. Um, I did end up purchasing this set. Although, I don't remember how many items were in the set. I want to say there was like six or seven of the little mini lip glides, which you guys know all my makeup is packed up right now, so I can't pull it out and show you, but I had a whole bunch of them that came in this set. Now, the thing about this set that I didn't like, well, the formula wasn't my favorite formula for um, a liquid lipstick. They are very velvety, so they do tend to slide around and get outside of your lip line, so you definitely have to prep your lips really good and make sure you have a lip liner to keep them in place. Um, they will get on your teeth if you're not careful. Um, they weren't my favorite. Now, they're not the worst ones I've ever tried, but they're definitely not the best liquid lipsticks I've tried. And the other thing I didn't like about the set is a lot of the shades in the set were so similar that I ended up decluttering, I think I want to say two of them right away without even testing them because I was like, you know what? These look very similar. So I'm going to not even open these couple um, ones that were really similar and just give them right away to a, fr a friend that I had who wanted to try them too, um, rather than open them and use them because they were all very similar. There was like one like nude shade and all of the rest of them were kind of like in that dark brick red, kind of a brownish red kind of a shade range. There was a ton of them that were really close to the same thing. So I didn't like the fact that you were buying, when I buy those little sets with a variety of minis in it, I want a variety of shades so that I can really get my money's worth out of it. But when, you, when you're when you getting so many that are so similar, you might as well buy one full size. You know what I'm saying? So um, for that reason, I wasn't too happy with the set. I did keep a few of them. I believe I have like maybe two or three left in my collection. And then also my daughter has a few of them in her collection, which you guys would have seen in that um, my daughter's makeup collection video recently. So I do still feel like it, it was a good deal because I do keep, I did keep a few and I getting use out of them, but um, like I said, I, I didn't like the color selection that came in that set. All right, the second thing that was on my wish list was the uh, stick foundation from Anastasia. I did end up buying that, not during the sale, but uh, at a later time I ended up picking it up to try it out, and um, I did end up decluttering that one pretty quickly. Um, I don't think I returned it. I think I waited too long past the return um, you know, window before I decided to get rid of it, so I didn't return it, but I did declutter it. Um, I think I passed it along to a family member. But yeah, I didn't like that foundation. It was so, so drying and it wasn't just that it was drying because like I can get past a drying foundation because my skin does tend to lean a little oily especially in the summertime, so I feel like I can kind of get away with it sometimes, but it was so drying, it was kind of difficult to apply, and then on top of that, it would really break down and didn't wear well, so 
I, overall, I was like, you know, I'm not gonna waste my time with this foundation. It's just not worth it. Um, it is affordable for a stick foundation. I, it's like almost half the price of the one from Lancome that I use, but it wasn't worth it in my opinion. It doesn't perform as well. So the next thing that was on my wish list at the time was the Algenis Drop and Glow Set. This is something I completely forgot about. Um, I totally forgot about these things. In fact, do they even still sell them? I don't know. Let me click this link and see if it still opens up. Yeah, they don't even sell them anymore. I clicked the link to see if it would take me to them. They don't even sell these anymore. I totally forgot about them. I never did end up picking them up. I probably didn't miss out. I don't know why I was thinking about getting these other than the fact that I really love Algenis. That was probably why I was like, ooh. Um, but I don't really like liquid highlighters, so I'm really glad I didn't get those. Um, and if they're not still selling them, that tells me that probably wasn't a great formula because otherwise they'd still be around. All right, the next thing that was on my wish list at the time was the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. Um, I don't think I ended up buying them during the sale, but I did end up getting a couple of them like later on because um, this was over a year ago. Now it was um, like a year and half ago almost. So yes, I did end up picking up two of those. I love them. I think they're a great formula for a liquid lipstick. I would highly recommend them if you have not tried them. Um, and that is actually one of the things that I would like to get more shades of in the future. I don't know if I mentioned it in that video I did about that, but it is something that I really do enjoy and I wouldn't mind having more colors of that um, liquid lipstick. I think they're really good. The next one on my list was the Anastasia liquid lipsticks. I'm surprised I didn't already have them. I wonder if I was just wanting more of them. Probably wanted more of them. So the Anastasia liquid lipsticks, I feel like I only have one shade of those. Oh, that's kind of tricky, you guys, because my makeup's packed up. I can't like go and look real quick. I would normally just open my drawer and be like, how many do I have of that? Um, I want to say I only have one shade of that. And I believe at the time that I did this video that I already had that shade. I think I was wanting to get more of them and try more of them. But I, uh, yeah, I still only have the one, I believe. Next up that was on my wish list was the La Vanilla deodorant. I have purchased that many times. Um, I used that for like, I want to say like a whole year. And I have recently switched. I now use... I'm now using the Schmitz deodorant and I do like this one better. I feel like the La Vanilla, there was something about the La Vanilla that didn't really agree with me. I would just have to reapply it so much. It wasn't bad necessarily for a natural deodorant. It's, it's kind of difficult to find an effective natural deodorant. I thought that one was okay, but for the price point, I think there are better ones at the drugstore that perform maybe just slightly better than that one. So, um, I don't buy that one anymore, but I did use it for a very long time. All right, the next thing that was on my wish list, oh, that was the Sephora Mini Collection Lip Cream Stains. So um, the Sephora Lip Cream Stains are one of my, probably my fa favorite uh, liquid lipstick formula. I have like 20 shades of them. I love them so much. They're so comfortable, very affordable. They're just really, really nice. If you've never tried them, you have to try them, you guys. They're really good. But I had... Um, had seen this little set of, from the Minnie Mouse collection that they were kind of baby size ones, but you got a whole bunch of shades and some of the shades were like limited to that set. So I had really wanted the set and I didn't buy it during the sale, but then I found it um, in store on clearance nearby at one of the close locations close to me here. So I did end up picking that up at a later time and I do still have the whole collection. I love them, I think they're great. All right, the next thing that was on my wish list was the House of Lashes um, Lash Glue. I was gonna see if I still have it out, but I don't, that's packed up too. Almost everything is packed, you guys, sorry. But um, that I did end up picking up and I do like it. I just don't wear lashes very often. I think I still prefer the Duo Lash Glue that has the little paint on. The problem I found with the House of Lashes one, which like I said, I'll still use it. Um, I probably won't repurchase it though. I just find that it's really hard to get off, which can be a good thing, but it also can be a bad thing because it damages my lashes. And even after using my best eye makeup remover, you get those little balls stuck to your lash. Lashes, and then when you try to you know gently roll them away you'll remove your lashes so I find that it's just a little too strong for me I like the uh, duo one because it holds up it keeps the lashes on without leaving behind that really tacky residue that's almost impossible to get off so um, so yeah I did end up purchasing that um, I will continue to use the one that I have but it's not something I would buy again 
Okay, so the next thing that was on my list was the Laura Mercier highlighting kit and it came with the little four highlighters in there. Um, I did end up purchasing that at this last Sephora VIB sale. So in 2017, it took me a whole year to get around to purchasing it, but I did finally purchase it. Um, I do really enjoy it. I really like it a lot. I haven't got a ton of use out of it because I just purchased it and then it got packed up almost right away. So um, it's definitely something that I can't wait to get more use out of, but I did end up purchasing that item. All right, the next thing that was on my my wish list was the Hourglass Surreal Edit palette from Hourglass. Let me see. I can't remember which one that was. Oh yeah, I really wanted this. I am actually kind of disappointed that I didn't get this. This was the um, holiday palette from Hourglass that year for 2016, and it had the really beautiful like marble look on the outside of it. And then inside, it looks like you're getting four blushes and a bronzer. I believe it's either a bronzer on that end there or like a one of the um, setting powders, but either way, it looks beautiful. The reason I did not end up purchasing that was because the pan size was pan size is so small. With all of the Hourglass Holiday palettes, they make the pan size tiny and then the price is so high, I just couldn't justify getting it even with the discount. So I did not end up getting that. I kind of wish I did, but I didn't end up get, picking that up. The next thing that was on my wish list was from YSL. It is the Volupte Tint in Oil. I was so close to getting one of these. I was in the store looking around. I, I swatched it, kind of walked around for a while, came back, swatched it again, walked around for a while, picked it up, put it in my car, walked around for a while, put it back. I mean, I was like back and forth on this, but I didn't end up picking it up and I still haven't gotten one. So I don't know. I You guys all told me um, when I posted this wish list, all of you were like, you need that. You just need to get it. Just trust us and get it. And I was so close, but I didn't get it. So um, that's one thing that I almost completely forgot about. So I don't know if I'm going to get it or not because it's really just fallen off my wish list. It's not really even on my radar anymore, but it d does still sound like something I would probably like, but I j it's just not on my wish list anymore. Alrighty, next up on my wish list was the Cinema Secrets Ult Ultra Lucent Setting Powder. So I never did end up picking this up, and honestly, this is another one that I completely forgot about. So um, probably one that I would not purchase at this time. Um, the next thing that was on here was from Laura Mercier. This is the Secret Brightening Powder. This is definitely still on my wish list. I feel like I might have talked about this in my forever wish list where I talked about products that I've wanted for a long time and just have never gotten around to purchasing. Yeah, that is definitely still on my wish list. I still really, really want it. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Probably because I have so many setting powders. I just haven't gotten around to picking this one up, but it is something that I would still like to try. All right, the next item that was on my wish list was the All Nighter Setting Spray Duo. I had wanted to get this because it was such a good value, but I already had a full size of the All Nighter Setting Spray and a mini, so I decided not to get it, and I still haven't repurchased it because I have so many setting sprays. I definitely don't need it at this time, so I never did purchase that. At the time, I think it was limited edition quantities or whatever for the duo, but now I feel like I want to say it's permanent, or at least they come back with it all the time. So I see it all the time on Sephora's website. All right, the next item that was on my wish list was the Nat Natasha Denona All Over Glow Highlighter. So um, I never did end up picking this up. I want to say that the reviews online weren't that great, and that's why I decided not to get it. And a lot of you told me too after I posted this don't do it, it's not good. So um, that one has definitely fallen off my radar. I am not really interested in that item anymore, so I never did end up picking that up. All right, you guys, the next item that was on my list is um, another one that I never did get, and it is from Estee Edit, is the Flash Illuminator. So as you guys know, Estee Edit is no longer around. It was kind of weird how that like popped up. It was like a um, part of the Estee Lauder brand, but it was supposed to be like a younger, fresher Estee Lauder. They called it the Estee Edit, and it didn't last very long. It didn't seem like it was that popular. I only picked up a couple items from the line, but um, this was something I was interested in, but unfortunately, I can't get it anymore because they don't sell it anymore. All right, the next item that was on my wish list was from Kat Von D. This was the Interstellar set. This was a really good deal, you guys, because it came with the Interstellar palette, as well as, it's hard to see on here, and they don't have it anymore, so I can't tell you what was in it, but I wanna say it was a full-size liquid lipstick and a full-size um, of her studded Kiss lipsticks, it looks like, and it was like the same price or maybe only a couple, couple dollars more than the palette by itself. I did not end up buying that set. However, I did end up buying the Interstellar palette. I found it at Marshall's, I wanna say, for $20, so I did pick up the palette, which was the main part of this set. 
I did end up decluttering that palette though. It just wasn't a shade selection that really spoke to me, so I didn't end up keeping it long term, but the quality of the palette was just fine. It's it's just um, the colors in it did not call to me, so that one I do not have anymore. All right, the next thing that was on my wish list, this was from YSL. It's the Lumiere, Lumiere Divine Powder, so it's kind of like a setting powder and a highlighting powder. It reminds me of the Hourglass powders where it's like a very subtle highlight or a very glowy setting powder. You can kind of use it the way you want to use it. I did end up buying the, that item during the sale. So that was kind of my splurge item for that sale. Um, I do still own it, packed up of course, but I do still own it and I, and I do love it. I think it's a great subtle highlighter. Now, is it worth the money? Probably not. You can get some really similar products from the drugstore for much cheaper. I still like it, so I'm still, I've still kept mine and I still use it. Alrighty, the next item that was on my wish list is from Makeup Forever. It is the Artist 3 palette. Um, I wanted this because it was on sale. I think it was like 50% off. Um, I don't believe I ever bought that one. I did have the number one, uh, which I still own, and I had the number three, no, two. I don't know. I've owned a few of these, you guys. I ended up decluttering all of them except the number one because the number one is the one that I feel like I get the most use out of. But yeah, I don't remember if I owned the number three. I don't think I did. I don't think I ever picked that one up. Next up on my wish list was the Photo Nail Vitamins. Now these I did not end up purchasing. They were just too expensive. So instead I went to the drugstore and I got those hair and nail vitamins from the drugstore for like a quarter of the price. And I used those all up and I still like them. I'll probably go get some more. I have I'm out right now, but my nails really need it. But yeah, I didn't end up buying those and I probably wouldn't spend the money on those. The next item that was on my wish list is the um, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. So these are the illuminating drops. I didn't know that I ever wanted those. I am, yeah, those are definitely not on my wish list anymore. I never purchased them. They are just so intense and that's probably not probably. That is why I've never purchased them. They're too intense for me. I've already mentioned I don't really like liquid highlighters. I think that's something I kind of learned over time though and at this time I don't think I'd really realized that I just need to stay away from liquid highlighters because they don't work for me. Um, but yeah, I never got those and I'm really not interested in getting those. The next thing that was on my wish list was the Hourglass Mineral Primer. This is something I have owned actually in little mini sizes. I've gotten it as like free 100 point perks before, but I've never had the full size, so I did not end up buying this. Um, it is something I eventually would like to have a full size of, but again, I have a lot of primers. This is an expensive one. It's a good one, but I still don't know if I can justify spending the money on it, maybe during the VIB sale when it's on sale, but I don't know. That's kind of like... It's kind of on my wish list. It's something I know I like, but do I want to spend the money on? That's where I'm kind of like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's worth that price. All right. Oh, the next one that was on my wish list was from Burberry. This was the Runway palette. When I talked about this on my wish list, I had so many of you say, do not get it. It is not worth it. It is not that good. So I stayed away from it. Um, it's no longer on my wish list. But yeah, a lot of you were like, no, it's not good. Don't get it. So I never did end up getting that one. And then the next, oh, the next item that was on my wish list was the Sunday Riley Squad Go Goals set. Um, I did end up getting this in gratis. So I, um, I did end up getting it, but I didn't purchase it. I got it for free from work. But... I think it's good. I think it's a good set, but I have other products I prefer. I prefer my Kate Somerville products over these ones, but I still think that they are good. But yeah, I probably would not purchase them again. All right, and then the last thing that was on my wish list was the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. I feel like I was one of the last piece of people to buy this palette. Um, I love it. I do own it. I did buy it. I love it. It's one of my favorite palettes of all time. So that is something I would definitely purchase again. So yeah, those were all the items that were on my wish list for the fall VIB sell in 2016. That was a lot of stuff. It's a long video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. If you want to see me go back and look at some of my other old wish lists, let me know. I'd be happy to do that. And I definitely have some um, haul reviews to do as well. I kind of wanted to wait to do those until I had unpacked my makeup so I could actually pull out those items and show them to you. So, but yeah, those are definitely coming as well. And then real quick before I say goodbye, I did want to let you guys know about a couple of things. Um, if you follow me on Snapchat, you will have already kind of heard about it a little bit. I'm not going to go too much in depth on it, but I did want to quickly let you guys know, because I know a lot of you have been sending me messages on my social media and letting me know that you could see something was different with me. 
and I just wanted to let you guys know that I have been a little bit out of it. I've been not as engaged and as, um, what's the word? I've not been as present in my videos and part of it is just that I have with this move a lot going on but there are some other things that are going on with me in my personal life right now that have um, kind of upset the balance I guess so I um, I do want to apologize if you guys have seen that in my videos if I haven't been as engaged in responding to your comments and definitely not as active in posting both videos and on my other social media that is the reason I do have some I do have some big changes in my personal life right now that have really been affecting me on a very deep level so I know that it's coming through in my videos so I just wanted to really thank you guys for your support I'm sure at this time, I'm not really um, comfortable talking about everything, but I did want to let you guys know that there is some stuff going on, and that is why you can kind of probably see it. Um, but I'm sure once I get settled into the new place and I'm starting to feel a little bit more stable, I will talk to you guys about some of those changes because it is going to affect my channel quite a bit. So um, I did want to let you guys know I am going through some stuff, and I really, really, really appreciate all of your support and your love and um, I just want to thank you guys for being here for me because you guys are amazing and your your comments uplift me every day and keep me strong and grounded so I just want to thank you guys I want to thank you guys for your support from the bottom of my heart it really does help me out so much and I love you guys and thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. I'll answer as many as I can and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.